Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. Something to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. So, the last place we, the last place we left off, we had just gone backstage to help comfort June after uh, Akutagawa's performance because it was really something spectacular, and we figured June might be having some confidence issues. And lo and behold, we were correct. So let's jump right back in and see if June's performance can hold a candle what the lion did. But anyway, guys, please sit back and enjoy me for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> I shift my body and go next to him, reaching out my hand to touch his face. June freezes, looking at me like a deer in the headlights. I wipe away the tears that are beginning with, that are beginning with my right hand, caressing his cheeks as I do so. That's not true, June. You've been practicing day and night for this. You're more than ready. No, I, I can't play. His voice sounded so distant and lonely. There has to be a way for me to console him. Hug him. Before I even have time to properly think about it, I wrap my arms around June, pulling him close to me and placing his head on my chest. What? What are you, you witchy son? It's okay. I start stroking the back of his head, doing my best to sound warm and welcoming. But soon enough, the dam bursts. June clings tightly to my shirt and buries his head in my chest, sobbing. I hold him there for what feels like many minutes, waiting for him to calm down. Little by little, his sobs become quieter and less numerous. When it, seems that, when it seems that his sobbing has finally died down, I speak up. Why do you think you can't play? June pulls away from me, looking down at the floor. Once again, I wipe the tears from his face and I smile at him. My hands, they feel cold. I realize that his hands are still shaking. I grab hold of one of his hands and, gives it a, and give it a squeeze. You mean this hand? He pulls his hand away from me, looking down at the floor and nodding. They feel so, so cold, I can barely even move them. I just... I don't know what to do. I can't play like this. His voice is so small and sad. I'm afraid he might start crying again at any second. He's so nervous that his hands and maybe his feet are feeling cold. I remember I used to feel the same when I had when I had just started playing competitively. June, give me your hand. Even when stressed, he diligently does what I ask of him. I grab his wrists and put both of his hands together, palm behind, palm against palm. Then I wrap my hands around his. What? I gently pull his hands toward, f towards me and exhale on them. Yuichi said, what are you doing? I look him in the eye, making sure to give him the gentlest, warmest smile I can. I'm warming your hands up so you can play. I know his hands aren't actually cold, but I'm just hoping I can somehow get him past whatever block he has on he has like this. I've managed to defuse his last panic attack. I won't be giving up, I won't be giving up with this one. Hey, Junkun, don't you think this is alright? I speak in a soft voice. My use of the honorific seems to have caught his attention. I caress the back of his hands with my thumbs, trying to seem as encouraging as I can. You've been working your hardest so far. I wanted to show everyone your performance. A performance only you can make, isn't that true? A, a performance only I can make? I nod slowly. I just... Ooh, excuse me. I don't understand how much about music myself, but... Shouldn't your music get your feelings across? Then why don't you, instead of worrying about getting a prefer perfect performance, just try to show everyone how you feel? I love watching that first performance of yours. I, I know I've seen I know I've seen you I know I've seen you perform once or twice after that, but that one really struck a chord with me. I felt as if your song was calling out to me. It was warm and gentle and passionate. I'm sure you weren't trying to show people how good your skills were. You were just happy to play and wanted to pour your feelings into the piano. So why can't you do that again? If if I did that, I wouldn't be able to win. I shake my head in negative. I don't believe that even for just a second. No one in this hall has managed to touch me the way you're playing did, June. I believe in you, no matter what you do, and I'm sure you'll be doing your best. So isn't this alright? Can't you just play how you want to play? I don't know how these competitions are judged, but wouldn't it be better if you put out the best performance you can instead of just worrying about getting everything completely perfect? June stares at me. His fur is matted from his tears and his eyes are red, but he looks calm. I... I hold his hands a little bit longer trying to encourage him any way I can. June nods. I'll try. I'll try to put my feelings in my music, hopefully. He doesn't finish his sentence, but I already know he can do it. As long as he can stay calm, there's no reason he wouldn't be able to do. There's no... There's nothing he wouldn't be able to do. Uh, June Kobayashi? The former... The worker from before peeks his head through the hallway, calling out June's name. June pulls away from me and immediately gets up. H yes the interval is about to end, and you have two minutes. All right. June nods, suddenly full of energy. The ram smiles and walks away. All right, Yuichi-san. I'm going now. Please watch over my performance.
Oh boy, I can't wait to see what he does. I bet he's gonna give a knockout performance. Ah, mouse, what are you doing? No. Get there we go. Okay. Right, I have to hurry back to my seat then. See you later. See you later. For ya. I turned to walk away. Oh, and one more thing. What is it? Thank you. Caught by surprise, I don't react for a few seconds. Then I nod and start running back to my seat. By the time I reach my seat, June is already halfway to the piano. Where the hell were you? Shuichi leans up to me, frowning. I went back to see June. What? Why would you... Shh! Someone shushes us from behind. Shuichi glares at me and leans back into his own seat. June sits in front of the piano, putting one of his hands on his knee and the other on his chest. He seems to be holding something. A, a pendant? Even if, I have a good eye, even if I have good eyesight, I can barely make it out. After what seems to be a full minute, he finally adjusts himself on his seat and places his hands on the keys. <gasps> the song starts very slow. June plays the initial keys with only one hand. The few whispers that could be heard in the audience seem to have died down the instant he started to play. Even though his movement seems to be tense and robotic, the melody comes out easily and is, a ple and is pleasing to hear. As he continues to play, June seems to relax. He starts swaying back and forth to the rhythm of the melody. His tail begins to move slowly in the air. He's definitely getting into it. Looking to the side, I see Keikun tapping his foot to the sound of the music. Saya looks for the first time like she's completely awake and not about to doze off. Shuichi's lips are curved in a proud smile, as if he were a dad watching his son's first ball game. Here it comes! Keikun murmurs just as the song seems to slow down to a halt. Then, the song immediately picks up the pace, completely switching gears and becoming insanely fast. No way! Kaken's reaction mirrors out of the entire audience. Surprise, perplexity, admiration, as without doubt that June is playing the song flawlessly, even a layman like me can tell. As he continues to hammer out the keys with practice skill, June's entire body moves along to the melody, creating a vivid performance that fills the halls with a rich, confident sound. Yes! Hello, Thumbnail. I feel it echoing deep inside my chest. This is the same feeling as when I saw him playing for the first time. It takes every fiber of self-control I have to keep myself from getting up and walking towards the stage. I want to get even closer. It's so moving that I feel like I could cry. But the performance is already over for the day. All that is left is to wait for the results to be posted. Ah. June has been pouting ever since he came out of the, lo of the lobby, already changed into his regular clothes. I already told you to cheer up. Your performance was amazing. Stop sulking. Just telling him to cheer up isn't just going to magically cheer him up, you know. The three of us have been trying to have been trying to up trying to up June's spirits since he rejoined us. Unfortunately, results have been very mixed. Meanwhile, Saya is waiting by the notice board to see the results when they finally get posted. I just feel like I bombed it. You didn't bomb it. I'm telling you, your performance was amazing. There's no doubt in my mind that you'll snag second place. But I need first place. If I don't get it, there's no chance for me to go to Germany. I know that. I just can't tell you that you'll win because I'm not so sure. I think it'll be very close. I don't really understand much about music, but I thought Junkun's performance was better, didn't you? It depends. Kobayashi, Kobayashi didn't go with the standard interpretation. That might not fly well with the judges. Regardless, I know that in technical terms he was number one, but... It basically comes down to whether or not the judges like his interpretation of the song. Even if Akutagawa's performance was higher in technical skill due to the duration of that piece, Kobayashi's was faster and more refined. It comes down to the judge's personal tastes, then. That doesn't sound too good. It's not. That's why everyone tends to play the standard interpretation. You won't charm any judges with their individuality, but you'll make sure none will dislike you so much that they fail you. I, uh, I didn't know that. I suddenly feel very awkward for suggesting that he do that. If June ends up failing because of this, I'll feel incredibly guilty for a long time. I'm sorry, June. I shouldn't have suggested you play like that. Wait! You're the one who suggested he do that? Of all the reckless... June lifts a hand up in the air, cutting Keikun off mid-sentence. It's all right, Yuichi-san. That was good advice for me. If I had gotten fixated fixated on playing the song, the song perfectly instead of just playing how I wanted, I would have been crushed by my own anxiety. Playing it like that is the only reason I was able to play it at all. If they fail me for that, then so be it. What is this adorable creature? Oh, hello there. Kitty, what are you doing? You're a little kitty being silly. Before my impulses can take me over and force me to hug the shit out of June, Shinji Akutagawa approaches us. There you are. I've been looking for you for almost ten minutes. The look on his face is both angry and scary. Even I suddenly feel like taking a step back. 
You know that their hand doesn't retreat. He stares back at the lion with an intensity that I never thought he was capable of. It's a big lobby, after all. How are you doing, Akutagawa-kun? Honestly, of all the stupid things you could have done, why didn't you go with the standard interpretation? You basically threw in the towel the moment you did that. It's very subtle, but I can notice June's body shifting a little bit when he hears that. Maybe he's not as confident as he's trying to portray himself. June looks down at the floor for just a second. I... At least that's what I'd like to say. The Kudogawa sighs, lifting both of his hands to the air and shrugging. I never thought you could do that that well. You could do that well. I thought you'd be rusty after being out of the stages for seven years. Instead, you came back sharper than before. Ukudogawa's penetrating gaze softens considerably as he looks over the perplexed tiger. Congratulations, Kobayashi-kun. No matter what the judges say, you're the victor today. But I won't lose next time. Ha! Huh. Without even giving him time to answer, the lion turns and walks away, leaving Zune gaping in, the, in a spot. Well, that was something. That guy's weird for sure. <laughs> June catches everyone by surprise when he suddenly when he suddenly hunches and starts laughing loudly. What what the? So sorry, sorry. He takes a few seconds to calm himself, wiping away a small tear from his left eye. How can he laugh so carefree like that? The good Agalican really hasn't changed at all. He was always pretty blunt about stuff like that. You're telling me he was always like that? June nods. A good Agalican is very demanding of himself. He all, he's always quick to praise people when he thinks they deserve it and always admits his own shortcomings when he thinks they exist. He always admits defeat if he thinks that he's been defeated. Even if the judges give him first place, he'll still consider himself the loser. That's the kind of pianist he is. Talk about a serious attitude. That's what you'd expect from someone aiming for the pros. He doesn't have time to make excuses for himself. He just takes in everything that he can and moves on. Huh. <laughs> I guess we could all stand to learn a few things from that guy, then. Guys! Oh, God. Saya comes running towards us, yelling so loudly that everyone in earshot turns to look at the source of this sudden noise. The, the results! Oh, moment of truth, moment of truth. How did it go? W w what were they? Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Saya is hunching over, her hands on her knees, panting and gasping desperately for air. Wait, what was... I thought they were, like, close to her. I guess not. I guess she ran, like, across the damn building to get to them. Fuh! 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 First place! R really? June immediately latches onto her, grabbing her arms with both of his hands and looking her in the eye. Saya swallows once and nods emphatically. You got first place! June stares at her, wide-eyed. His hands start to shake and he stumbles backwards, collapsing on a nearby bench. Big droplets start start welling up in his eyes. He pulls out a pendant from his pocket and holds it and holds it tightly in his hands, touching it to his forehead. Th thank God. He then starts sobbing uncontrollably. Oh, yes, so oh good. Ah. My mind is violently snapped back into wakefulness by the sudden blaring noise of the alarm. What the? Who even set up the alarm? Shit. Where is it? Where is it so I can turn this damn thing off? Ah, oh, there. 9.30? Why the hell am I waking up at 9.30 on the weekend? It's not as if I have to do anything to do. Wait. Did I promise to go out with someone today? Ah! As my mind slowly dispels its foggy state, I seem to remember a little bit more. That's right, I had scheduled to go out today. Shuichi. Shit! That's right, Shuichi asked me to go out with him today. I was sitting on the rooftop like I do sometimes, cloud-gazing him. Cloud gazing helps keep my stress at an acceptable level. Oh, I knew you'd be here. Shuichi showed up, looking down at me with a mix of annoyance and amusement. I get the feeling that we've done this a lot over the years. What was it this time? Too much homework? Incoming tests are leaving you stressed? Hmm, not sure. It wasn't uncommon for me to feel an edge from time to time, be it home life, school work, or everything that was going on with my tennis career. There was always something to tick me off and make me feel stressed. Being lazy was my major outlet. Shuichi sits down on the ground next to me. I can see him staring at my face in curiosity for a few seconds. Then he turns his eyes towards the sky, watching the clouds. He curves his body forward, hugging his knees as he looks up. We sit in silence for a few minutes, merely watching the clouds as they fly by. It might be silly, but it really does help me relax. You know... Shuichi starts to talk. Spare me the lecture. Before he even has time to finish his sentence, I already cut him off. Rude, you don't even know what I was going to say. It's you. Of course you're going to give me a lecture about missing class and how that will reflect poorly on my college admittance exams. 
then I'd have to remind you that I don't even plan on taking those. Yada yada, it's the same argument we have every time. Pick a new topic already. I give a fleeting glance in his direction. Seeing that look of annoyance on his face feels refreshing somehow. <laughs> well, I guess you really do know me well. It's been over ten years. It's expected that I would be that, that would by this point. Huh. <laughs> I guess that's true. Switchy starts rocking his body sideways as he hums a familiar melody. For some reason, I can't seem to recall why I've heard this before. Still, it's a very pleasant tune. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Shuichi continues humming happily, not realizing that I've begun watching him. Seeing him look so happy also does wonders for my mood, more so than any clouds in the sky could. Hmm? Shuichi finally seems to notice that my attention has turned to him. What is it? Uh-oh. My heart seems to skip a beat for a second there. I have to look away to hide the fact that I'm suddenly blushing. Why am I blushing? N no, it's nothing! I hear Shuichi chuckling, but I still don't turn to look at him. Is that so, huh? Shuichi starts humming again. Hey, Yuichi. Hmm? He starts humming very quickly, suddenly calling out to me. Reflexively, I turn to look at him. What is it? Shuichi leans forward against his knees, resting his chin on them as his eyes look sideways at me. Do you remember the song? Huh? What kind of question is this? You mean the one you were humming? Can't. what are you doing? <sighs> A sheet fell down. And now the cat is crawling into it like it's his house. You're a silly boy! This is our Snow White... Snow White, Snow Soft kitty. We call him Little Sweet, because he, he is a little sweet. He's also a little shit sometimes. Little Sweet! You sweet boy. Yes, I'm calling you. Daddy loves you. Yeah. Shuichi nods. Hmm. Where was it that I heard that song before? Sounds really familiar. I remember it! Really? Is it the song that was playing at the Lunar Festival we went to as kids? When was that again? Six years ago? Huh. Shuichi stares at me in complete bewilderment for a few seconds. Doubt starts creeping in. Could it be that I was wrong? Then he suddenly nods energetically, looking incredibly pleased with himself. You do remember! I'm glad! Shuichi starts laughing. He seems so innocent and unguarded, I can't help but start laughing myself. We keep laughing like two idiots for a few seconds, just enjoying the moment. That's right. The song suddenly popped back in my head this morning. I don't know why. I just... What are you doing, you silly boy? I can hear... I don't know if you guys heard him. He's got a very light meow. It's adorable. It just reminded me of how long it's been since we last went to the festival. Well, we always seem to be very busy around the time of the festival, so it's no surprise. She what she nods. That's also true. It's kind of sad when I think about it. It doesn't help that the festival only happens during one of the busiest seasons of the year. Our city's Lunar Festival happens at the end of June, just when one of the major tennis tournaments is going on. It's also right in the middle of the National Summer Tournament for Shuichi, and while they don't usually manage to qualify, he's still working hard to try and get there. In the end, we haven't managed to attend together once in the last six years. It feels a bit sad when you think about it. Damn it! now that you mention it, I, I really want to try going to the festival again. It's really been a while. Last time I attended was on our first year, but you weren't doing too hot back then, and I didn't want to go, and I didn't want you to go, and I didn't, and didn't want to go with me. Ugh, don't remind me. I was back during the peak of my slump. I was sitting around and feeling pity for myself most of the time. Ugh, it's embarrassing to even think about it. Hey, how about we go together this year? Um, you forgot the part where we both probably, go, we're probably both going to be super busy by then. Well, do you know for a fact that you won't have at least one free day during the festival? Well, our city's festival starts on Friday, going all the way to Sunday, so it might be possible for us to meet up then, but... I might have the time, but we don't know if you will. We can't make arrangements like this without knowing. That's true. Nah, but I want to go to the festival! Chuchi starts throwing a temper tantrum. As comical as the image of an 18-year-old that's almost two meters tall flailing around in a tantrum is, it's a little, it's a little bit weird. What are you, a kid? That's cruel! He switches off. His switch suddenly goes off. Jeez, when we're both alone together, you become so easygoing that it's like hanging out with a completely different person. Just accept reality already. The chances of us two being, of us two going out to a festival together, are stupidly small this year. Um. Well, what is it? Just spit it out already. Now that I think about it, that's not entirely true. We could go to a festival if we wanted to. What? I don't know if any festivals in town save for the Lunar Festival. <laughs> then you're in for a treat. 
Will you be free on Saturday? I should be. Why? Oh, no reason in particular. Except that you'll be going out with me, of course. There's one festival going on in town this Saturday, and I am absolutely going to take you there. What festival is this? That, my friend, will be a surprise. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the... I am st we're still getting... The last badge is being worked on, guys. Don't worry. The, 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 the tears are coming for those of you who want to support me monthly or gain access to my, um, to my, um, what is it, uh, member, my members only, uh, Discord, which I'm still working on, by the way. Um, I might put out some, I might put out some notices out there looking for potential mods who can help with this. But anyway, guys, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!